Hello. Uh, may I help you? Have you ever felt disappointed with your television options? <laughs> uh, no, I've never thought about that, but I'm thinking about it now. <coughs> um... <laughs> Hank, what are huh? you doing? Don't whoa, talk whoa, to a door-to-door -door -door salesman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, back off, buddy. Go peddle your lies somewhere else. Oh, I am dreadfully sorry. I merely thought you might be interested in 500 television channels. <gasps> 500 channels? Tom, we should hear him out. <laughs> You can't trust a salesman. They'll say anything to try and make a sale. And Tom should know because he's basically a salesman. Yeah. Wait, that was a compliment, right? Um... Eh, I'll take it as a compliment. <sighs> hey! Forget my friends! Here's some money! I need that gizmo! Oh, this is a deal you assuredly will not regret. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I? Right? <laughs> right? So, you ignored us and bought the TV channels from the creepy guy, huh? Tom, it's not just TV channels. It's 500 TV channels! Fine, but don't complain when you realize that you bought a bunch of junk. Huh? Whoa! Huh? It says you get VTV! <laughs> the Vampire Channel! It's so scary, the V's and the logo are fangs. Whoa! I'd never be allowed to watch this at home because I'd have nightmares. Let's watch it! Oh, yeah! Welcome to the 13th season of Vampires Among Us Fact or Fiction, It's Fact. 13th season? I'm not caught up with the first 12 seasons! But before our 13th season premiere, we'll have a convenient marathon of our first 12 seasons. 74 hours of learning. Ooh, this isn't gonna be easy, but if I'm gonna be the TV viewer I know I can be, then I've got a show to marathon! And inside the grave was a bat. Fact or fiction, it's fact. Oh! <laughs> that was a good one! But it's a school night. I should probably get going. Yeah, okay, good night. I've still got 71 hours of this marathon to go. Definitely have no garlic. Vampires can take over a town without any non-vampires knowing. Remember, the greatest weapon against oh. a vampire is knowledge. No one is really safe from vampires, not even ghosts. <gasps> Sally didn't believe in vampires. Too bad vampires believed in her. <laughs> the most dangerous vampires are the ones closest to us. It could be your spouse. Whew, don't have to worry about that. It could be your best friend slash roommate. Ah! <gasps> Hello? <sighs> ah! Hank, we need to talk. <sighs> You've been watching this show for over a day. You need to take a break. I can't do that, Tom. There are vampires among us. I need to stay informed. Let's just go for a walk. It's a nice night. No! no I'm busy! Tom? Where'd, where'd you go, Tom? Hello? Is anybody there? Your own home could be a vampire den, so you have to look for the signs. A house that has vampires will definitely have no garlic. Whew! We have garlic right in the kitchen on our garlic plate. <laughs> Help me, TV! Tell me what to do! We'll be back after these short messages from our sponsors. Garlic fries, garlic pies. You, you know, know what, what our food implies. We love garlic! Uh, huh? What are you doing? It's terrible! We're out of garlic! And Tom was acting weird. I think he might be... A vampire? That's logical, Hank. After all, me at all vampire! Ah! It's just like the VTV logo! Ah! <laughs> You're just in time for the vampire beast! Yeah. Yeah. To be the vampire beast! Ah! <laughs> oh! 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 
Vampires! Vampires among us! It's back! Oh! No, 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 no! It seems Hank's too long TV session has warped his mind. He can't tell fact from fiction. Come on, Hank. There's no such thing as vampires. Spoken like a lying vampire. I've seen the evidence on the show. I'm not a lying vampire. I know, but contradicting the show's logic isn't going to work. Hmm. Maybe what we need to do is play along. <gasps> Oh. And welcome back to Vampires, Fact or Fiction. It's fact. Oh, you're back! Uh, wait, something's different. Uh, no, this is a regular episode of the show you're watching. Oh, good! Today's episode is our most important one ever. It's about the Slayer. The one person who can defeat the vampire menace forever. And that Slayer's name is Hank. <gasps> Could I be the... No, it's probably a different Hank. It's easy to know if you're Hank the Slayer. Vampire Slayers are great at untying ropes. Hmm? <laughs> slayers also bear an image of vampire fangs on the back of their hand. <gasps> I never saw that before. So maybe I really am the Slayer. Yes, there you go. That's what we were going for. You're the one who can save the world. Ha-ha! <laughs> Once and for all! No! I'd like to order garlic fries. Extra garlic, hold the fries. Okay, TV show, I hope you were right about me. Vampires, show yourselves! It's time to raise the stakes. to defeat Tomacula. <laughs> Three down, one to go. Well done, Slayer. But you can't defeat the Master Vampire. Me! <laughs> and the oldest of the Bloodsuckers shall take the form of a child. Classic vampire thing! <laughs> Weakness? Sunlight! No! I'm turning to dust! I will return! No, I won't! I'm gone for good, and so are all other vampires in this town! They die when the master vampire dies! I, I did it! I saved the world! 
You won't believe the crazy dream I just had. That wasn't a dream. You watched way too much of that TV show about vampires and you went nuts. Oh, that makes sense. No more vampires. From now on, I'm only going to watch shows about zombies. No, 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 no. Ah, Give me that. <laughs> I know, Bracelet. I'm banned from doing tech. I just like to look back sometimes and remember what this garage was like when it was full of amazing science. Huh? <laughs> what in the name of the cosmos is going on out here? Check it out. Oh. I won a contest where the prize is going to space to write my name on the sun. Oh. It goes to show, if you mail in enough cereal box tops, good things can happen. Yeah, I want to yo-yo that way once. Welcome to the victory club, buddy. Whoa. Is this really something a contest can give away? The sun belongs to everybody. Angela, don't get caught up in the details. What's important is that is a spaceship, and I am going in it. Tom, take me with you! Please, 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 please. <sighs> Here. <gasps> you can borrow my special new high-tech astronaut watch. Yeah! Which yeah. I also won. <laughs> Man, this is a good contest. Whoa! Tom, be careful out there. <laughs> I'll be fine. It's only space. Wow. <laughs> well, he's having a nice Thursday. Huh? Why is my watch beeping? Hello, Tom. Oh, <laughs> is he young? Wait, you're not Tom. Did I call the wrong watch? No, I borrowed this from Tom because he went to stupid space. He did? He really fell for it? Yes, apparently he... Wait, fell for uh -huh. it? What's going on? Oh, not much. Except I set up a fake contest and tricked Tom into thinking he won it. I just blasted my greatest enemy off this planet forever. What a wonderful Thursday. <laughs> you bring my boyfriend back right now. CEO. Why would I do that? With Tom gone, I'm finally free to do whatever business I want. I could make a mind control TV or make food only available to people who work for me. I should write this down. I'm burning through ideas. Ugh. He cannot get away with this. We have to save Tom. Right. And I know how to do it. <laughs> I'll construct a satellite to find Tom, then connect it to a magnetic lasso. Technology can... Oh, oh, right. My anti-tech bracelet is gonna be a problem here. Seriously? How did you not get rid of that thing by now? I tried. It can't be removed. But if the bracelet won't let Ben make the Tom <laughs> saving machine, does that mean Tom <laughs> can't be saved? <laughs> You're just jewelry! And jewelry is supposed to make the world It's too bad we can't make friends with the bracelet. Then it would understand how important it was to save our other friend. <sighs> but you must have already tried that. Sorry for bringing up an idea you already tried, everybody. Actually, we haven't tried that idea. Hmm. Maybe instead of fighting the bracelet, we should become friends with it. Let's do it. But we have to hurry. Tom must be so scared right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is profile pick material. For sure. Whew, looking up a sweat. Didn't know space was so warm.
Okay, bracelet. Let's get friendly. The first thing you need to know about being a friend is friends play games together. So I'm gonna kick this ball and you try to block it. Ready? Oh, that's not very friendly. When I think of friends, I think of makeovers. Bracelet, get ready for a friendship makeover. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. And that, and okay, I'm trying this. Perfect, and ta-da! Wow! For me, the best part of friendship is just being silly together, and there's no better place to do that than a photo booth. <laughs> this is ridiculous! There must be something new! I don't know if I even want to be friends with that thing. That bracelet is a bully. Well, we have to do something! My astronaut watch says Tom is getting further and further in space. Look! <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't speak evil technology, but I know what that sound means. Ben's bracelet has a crush on Ginger's watch. <gasps> what? Oh, come on! Listen up, boys. Oh. I have a plan. Look at all this space stuff. Oh, I gotta send these pictures to Angela. She'll be so jealous. Where is the Call Earth button? Aha! Huh? Ah! Well, wait, wait, what, what, what is going on? Strange, right? <laughs> CEO, what are you doing here? I already told your friends, but I like saying it, so you didn't win a contest. What? You got tricked by me. Now you have to live in space. <laughs> You took advantage of my trust of free things that come in the mail? That's low, even for you. Maybe, but it all worked out perfectly. Except you gave away your fancy watch, so I had to come out here and mock you in person. Still, that's not going to mess up my plan. Oh, yeah, well, that's what you think. I'm coming over there to take over your ship. Oh, my, that didn't help you at all. You just pointed yourself directly at the sun. <gasps> oh, no! I really don't like this, guys. Quiet, Ginger. This isn't about you. It's about your watch. Are they hitting it off? What do you think, Angela? I'm not sure, but it's time to find out. Ginger? <gasps> I had a lot of fun being friends with you. But I have to go home now so I can move to another country. Nice knowing you. Ginger, surely we'll see you again? Nope. This is the last time you'll ever see me or any of my things. Like my bike or my helmet or my cool astronaut watch. I know, Bracelet. It's sad. Move on. You and the watch are from two different worlds. He's right. The only way you could be with that watch was if you got off my wrist. So what can you do? Okay, Tom, it's been nice knowing you, but this is as close to the sun as I'm willing to get. I'm sweating through my suit. <sighs> I'm sorry, Angela. I always knew I'd go out like this. Tom! Ben! 
Is that you? We thought you could use some help. Too, but I don't get it. Who built this machine? I know it couldn't have been Ben. It sure could have been, and it was. All it took was my amazing science genius and a bit of friendship. Nice! No bracelet! Hey, I'm oh, so glad you did This season on Brave Ricks. Brave Ricks. Woo! Oh, wow. Quest for reality show glory. Eight racers will face their fears. And to get to the end, they'll have to take on the most terrifying ride ever built, the Terror Raider. That show looks intense. Is Becca really doing it? I guess she has a lot of natural confidence. Look, there she is. What up, world? I'm Becca, and the only thing I'm worried about is how embarrassed my competitors will be when I grind them into sand. Wow! <laughs> Wait, what is she wearing? That hair looks familiar. Isn't that the wig Angela borrowed that turned her into a total jerk? <gasps> oh no, Becca's natural confidence isn't natural at all. It's coming from that bad news wig. What did you do today? So much. And uh, while you were doing that, were you wearing this wig? Chill out. I was going to my audition and feeling nervous or whatever. <laughs> huh? I found it in my room. I put it on and I felt confident. Like nothing could stop me. Plus, it looks cool. NBD, no big deal. <laughs> it is a big deal. This wig used to be mine, and it made me feel great too. But then it made me a total jerk. Uh -oh. Angela's gone. And I tell you what I want. <laughs> what did she become? Becca, <gasps> this wig changes you. It is a good thing I'm looking out for you. Ugh. Today on Brave Race, you've heard of a zip line and you've heard of lava. But what happens when those two things collide? Z -z -z -zip -fire. Uh, Becca, are you sure watching all these old Brave Race episodes won't freak you out? I need to know what I might have to do. Besides, I can handle it. After all, I I've got natural confidence. Yeah, you do. <sighs> okay, I'm going to bed. Don't forget to be awesome tomorrow. You know it. Boom. <laughs> the great racers have to send a plane to the finish line. But this plane only goes upside down. The racers have to tickle a shark. a power-up breakfast for your big race today, and... <gasps> Becca? <gasps> she took the wig? Oh, I knew I should have put that thing in the garbage disposal. We can't let Becca wig out on TV. We have to do something. I said 
I wanted a pizza. I'm sorry, I'm the makeup girl. Don't talk back to the talent. Now give me what I want! <laughs> <sighs> Looks like mom is here. Becca, take off that wig! The extra confidence isn't worth it. Becca, if you do the race like this, you will be forever labeled a reality show villain. <laughs> The world will never forgive you. I don't care what the world thinks. Most of the world is lame anyway. The brave race starts here. You'll walk this way from this very tall building to that very tall building. Try not to fall, everyone. But watch out. I greased your wires. So mean, but allowed by our insane rules. Okay, racers, get brave. Out of my way! What are you doing? Huh? I'm proving you don't need that wig to be confident. You can do anything by just being yourself. <laughs> The real you can do this, Becca. And I know because I'm doing it. And I'm not even on the <sighs> show. I had to sneak past security to get here. Wow. Angela, I guess you really don't need the wig to be confident. Yes! That's what I'm saying! So imagine how confident you would be with Whoa. the wig! Wait, what? It seems the wig is some sort of parasitic, confidence-seeking organism. I thought this might be the case. You did? Well, I like to keep an open mind about neat little scientific possibilities. Guys, what do we do about Becca? <laughs> she can't hurt anybody while she's stuck in that tower. <laughs> oh, there it goes! No! No! Oh. oh, no. Come on, Angela, put on the wig. Everybody's doing it. Hank, that's not you talking. It's the wig. Run into the race course. Hello? Can someone get me down? You little brat! Beat it, bad Hank! Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> Here comes Ginger, baby! Go! <laughs> Put on the wig, Angela! It's the logical thing to do! The Terrorator lives up to its name. Should we go around it? We can't run from this wig forever. It's time to give it what it wants. But, but... Trust me, and hand me your phone. wanted me to give this to you. Hi, Angie. I guess you won. You took over my brain and you're feeling super confident now. Yeah, that's right. Okay, if all you want is confidence, then you might as well use it. So, let's see how confident you are after you ride the Terror Raider 20 times in a row. What, what?
thank me for this. What is Angela doing? She's teaching a wig that confidence isn't everything. She's 10 rides in. Angela, you beat that wig at its own game. Yeah. I did it. Thanks for looking out for me, Ange. Sorry I didn't listen to you. Hey, listen, everyone gets nervous. But remember, you can do anything. You just have to believe it. No, hey, you're not an official Brave Race contestant. Oh, oh, right. This was for TV. Hey, we never meant to mess up the show. It's just... Mess up? Are you kidding? That girl was not only the only one to finish the Brave Race course, she finished it in record time. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Hooray! Yeah. Right. Right. Way to go! Did Angela win anything cool? Yes. The Brave Race winner gets unlimited rides on the Terrorator. And so do all her friends. All her what now? Oh, oh, wait. No, I'm good. Not again. No, thank you. No, no thanks. I don't think I'm going to... Oh!